It's so good to see all of your faces and to have us gathering on this day and this morning. Beautiful place, this beautiful space of the 4-H Center. Um, if you haven't been here before, take some time to look around. It's a, a LEED certified building, um, which is one of the reasons why it's just a great space for us to meet. I'm Sarah Ward. I'm the director of Ohio Interfaith Power and Light, and I am so, so pleased to finally have this day coming. Uh, Ohio Interfaith Power and Light began sort of an intentional conversation about diversity in this movement several years ago, really. Um, and as we came closer to the date of this conference, um, aside from the fact that it was a, a bye weekend for the Ohio State football team, <laughs> we, uh, we realized it's about a month out from 25 years of the existence of the principles of environmental justice. 25 years ago. These are on your tables, in case it's been a while since you've taken a look at them, but I think in October, 25 years ago, these were created. And so in a, in a sense, we're, we're here to honor the work that was started in this effort 25 years ago, and to really sort of take stock of where we are today in this movement. We know that today we are in a really difficult time of racial tensions, of political divisiveness. And we know that time marches on with regard to what's happening to our earthly home with climate change. And that it is so important for us to come together as community, as people of faith, to deepen our commitment to hear new voices and to work together. So it's our hope that this summit will help to deepen and broaden that conversation among this movement around the state. We have really some fun stuff today, particularly at lunchtime. We're going to have a festival, and you'll have all kinds of choices. So you'll be kind of eating lunch, walking around, and a uh, lot, of, lot of fun things that you'll be able to take in, and, and a lot of creative expression of how we honor the earth. So I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, they say the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So I hope that this is our first step as a community. As we come together this day, we also honor the life of our co-founder, Sister Paula Gonzalez, who left this earthly home in July. Her spirit remains with us throughout this day, and we are all stronger for having known her. I'd like to begin with a few uh, expressions of gratitude as well um, for our co-sponsors. And so I'm going to invite Greg Heitzusen to come up. And um, the school, Ohio State School of Environment and Natural Resources has always been a great partner. And uh, so he's here to just give us a real quick welcome. Well, we try to get someone more official than me. but. Um Here's what you get. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Ohio State. I'm Greg Heitz Susan. I'm an assistant professor of professional practice in religion, ecology, and sustainability. Uh, uh, who knew that a land grant university could do a thing like that? <clears throat> uh, well, we know, and, and as far as I know, I'm sort of a guinea pig for that. I don't think there are any other land grants that have tried such a thing yet. So. Um, I'm really feeling very fortunate to be in that sort of position at a university that is recognizing the incredibly profound importance of faith communities for determining our moral, spiritual, ethical, and environmental landscape in this world. And 
and a university that is actually investing in collaborating and partnering with faith communities. And I, I, I get there for as part of my job to work on events like this and, and be part of this. And I think there's, there's real hopefulness in that. Um, I also just think, as Sarah mentioned, it's kind of fitting that we're here at the 4-H Center, not just because this was Ohio State's first LEED certified building and has all this you know, natural light that just makes it a, a warm and welcoming space. There's also a church that worships here every Sunday morning. They, they, the community has come in and said, hey, this is a great place, and uh, it gets used for worship. Um, but I was also thinking about how many of you were part of 4-H? Uh, okay, a number. So you know what the 4-H's are, right? <laughs> Head, heart, hands, and health, right? And that's kind of fitting here, I think, right? Our heads for all the thoughts and ideas and the understanding that we're trying to come to here today. Our hearts, of course, for our faith and our spirits. Our hands for all the action and the work that we do and are preparing to do and doing together. And then our health, of course, our well-being and our hopes for future generations and the well-being of all of us. So I think that's really fitting, and I think that's also a nice fitting thing as a bridge to all of the in inclusion of the arts and the humanities and storytelling and art and ritual and all these other uh, forms of, of expression uh, that really help capture some of the moment here. I think that's something that, that this is a good place to be doing that in. So um, on behalf of Ohio State, I look forward to a great day, really looking forward to interactions and connections and listening um, and sharing, um, and welcome to you all. Thank you, Greg. And we have been uh, blessed to have Greg's leadership as our board chair for many years, so thank you to that as well. Um, I also want to just shout out uh, Methodist Theological School in Ohio it has also stepped up and been a terrific sponsor of this uh, conference. And just a few words, MTSO is one of 13 seminaries and theological schools affiliated with, United with the United Methodist Church. They're located north of Columbus in Delaware. They have made tremendous strides in environmental ministries through their Seminary Hill Farm and many of their course offerings. Uh, the Reverend Jay Rundell, president, uh, is, is here, I think. I saw him. Yes, there you are, one of those 4-H guys. <laughs> And I'm so glad to have you here with us. Um, but he's going to be joining us um, in the closing session as well. And, um, and Dr. Tim Van Meter is here as well. There he is. Okay. Were you 4-H? That's all right. It, it wouldn't let me in. Okay. <laughs> it's a very special group. Okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, welcome and, and to the uh, seminary students that are here from MTSO. We're so, so pleased that you're here. Um, so thank you for your support for this work. I also want to um, uh, mention some of the other sponsors who are here. Um, hopefully you've seen their logos. It's, uh, we can't do this without that support. And so I want to just acknowledge um, who has, again, helped us make this happen. Columbia Gas of Ohio, Paul Racher, Andrew, and Adrian Andrews, are either of you here yet? Okay, I know they'll be here at some point. They're a great partner with Ohio Interfaith Power and Light, so I appreciate them helping. Helping Trinity Lutheran Seminary, also a great partner. Hank Langnecht, Dr. Hank Langnecht is here. And Jared, Jared Howard, who is a board member of Ohio Interfaith Power and Light, is a seminary student serving on internship this year. Um, Sisters of Charity of Cincinnati, um, our heart. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support and, and, uh, and all that you do in this work, and, and uh, certainly for Sister Paula. Uh, Energility, our uh, technical consultant for Ohio Interfaith Power and Light, Justin and Craig, thank you so much. Um, Ohio Enver Environmental Council, um, and I don't know if someone's here from OEC. I know they had a board meeting today, so um, just Thank them. They're an, an important leader in this movement in uh, the state of Ohio. Um, Ohio son, Luke Selfridge, is he here yet? Okay, Luke lives in Marietta, so he gets a little extra time on the road, I guess. But uh, he'll be great. He's offering a workshop this afternoon as well, so you'll get a chance to meet him then. Um, Bird Polar and Climate Research Center, Jason Servanek 
in the back, also a board member, they have generously offered to tape our um, plenary sessions so that they can be available online um, at some point. Um, Corporation for Ohio Appalachian Development, Tom Calhoun, so great to have you. We have known each other for a lifetime, have <laughs> we not? Um, uh, and it's so good to, to know that you're still doing the good work. <laughs> uh, Design Energy, Suzanne Jeske, welcome. Has a table right out here. And Dave Dwyer, well, thank you so much for your support and for being here. So visit their table outside. Um, the Catholic Climate Covenant, uh, represented by Tara Poling and Jerry Freewalt. And I don't know if they're here. Oh, good, Jerry, hi. And oh, good, Tara, thank you. Um, so please take time. Um, not all of our sponsors have tables, but we do have exhibitors, lots of re really great, um, interesting exhibits. I also want to mention um, uh, Sierra Club has donated these really cool dollhouses. And so we're just going to do a drawing at the end. But these dollhouses are, you know, energy efficient. They got solar panels. <laughs> And, and there are, you know, there are these diverse families that you can, you know, include in these dollhouses. It is so cool. So there are two of them. And um, if you have a, a nursery program in your congregation that you think would enjoy, um, put your name in there and, and we'll, we'll draw for those dollhouses at the end of the conference. So um, just wanted to mention that. Um, Gratitude also goes to the Ohio Interfaith Power and Light Board members who are dedicated and committed to strengthening this work, this organization. Um, and I just want to just ask those of you who are here, not everybody's here, to please stand as I mention your name. Carol Jean Willie. Thank you. Deb Conklin is on her way. Frank Edmonds, have you gotten here yet? I don't see Frank. Okay, Greg. Hi, Susan. Jared Howard. Jason Servanek in the back. Jessica, unfortunately, is ill. Jessica Schimberg. Jim Rogers is probably still on his way. Um, and Mayor of Mansfield is out of town. Robert Downs. Bob Downs. There you are. Thank you. And Tony Miner. There's Tony. He's not going to stand up. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. It is, it is a distinct honor and pleasure to work with these fine people. And uh, so take time to get to know them today if you haven't. I also want to thank the great team of consultants that um, I get to work with. Um, Alicia Ashburn, I don't know if she's in here. Oh, there she is. She, uh, she may be with or without Brooke. She, Brooke's her one-year-old, and Brooke's here. So um, depending on how quiet Brooke is at the time, she may be with <laughs> or maybe not. We'll see. But we're really glad to, uh, to have Alicia on the team and, and still supporting our, our efforts. Marty Hunter, who has just worked tirelessly to make this happen and everything that's beautiful around you is is uh, due in great part to her efforts and her work so she may be out there still working at the desk who knows but please stop and and give her whatever gratitude you have today she certainly deserves it Samantha Miller um, are you in here Sam there you are um, thank you so much for, for your efforts in uh, making this a great event. And Deb Steele, there you are in the back. You too as well for your hard work. So thank you. And Craig, can't, can't forget Craig Foster, who again with Energility um, as our technical consultant has um, um, also been a great leader in this work. And so we appreciate that. So now I have an opportunity that um, we waited for for a couple of years, and I'm glad it's finally here. 
and that is to introduce you to Dr. Melanie Harris. I'm so excited. <laughs> so let me give you her bio. Dr. Harris is Associate Professor of Religion at Texas Christian University in Fort Worth, Texas where she teaches and conducts research in the areas of religious and social ethics, African-American religion and environmental justice. Dr. Harris is the author of Gifts of Virtue, Alice Walker, and Womanist Ethics, and co-editor of the volume Faith, Feminism, and Scholarship, The Next Generation, as well as editor of Eco-Womanism, Earth, honoring faiths. She has written numerous scholarly and interfaith related articles and has served as an associate minister in congregations, including Shorter Community AME Church in Denver, Colorado, First Bethel AME Church in Harlem, New York, and Riverside Church in the city of New York. Dr. Harris is a Green Faith Fellow and co-director of Earth Honoring Faith with Ghost Ranch Education and Conference Center. She regularly conducts workshops with Dr. Jennifer Harvey about racial justice, womanist ethics, and environmental justice, and has presented to audiences in the AME, UCC, and Baptist church traditions. As the Black Church Studies Environmental Justice Scholar in Residence with Green Faith, she has partnered with such organizations as Green for All and teaches with the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. As a leader in the church and the academy, Dr. Harris co-facilitates teaching and pedagogy workshops with the Wabash Center for Teaching and Learning in theology, sponsored by the Lilly Foundation, and she consults with the Ford Foundation and the Forum for Theological Exploration. Dr. Harris has served on the board of directors of the American Academy of Religion and the Society of Christian Ethics. She is currently a member of the board of directors of CARA TV Radio in Dallas and facilitates contemplative retreats as a licensed spiritual director. I first met Dr. Harris in 2014 at Ghost Ranch in New Mexico, where she co-facilitated a retreat with her lovely mother. And we connected again when she came to Ohio and spoke at MTSO, I think it was in 2015. And then again, just last spring, uh, again at Ghost Ranch, where I had the opportunity to attend this conference called Earth Honoring Faith. And it was a conference about environmental and social justice. And we talked about racism. And Dr. Harris was full of grace and so gentle as she began to open my eyes and heart to a deeper understanding of how we might begin to journey together toward healing among ourselves as human beings and with our sacred Mother Earth. So please welcome Dr. Melody Harris. <laughs> <laughs> 